Hey guys and welcome to our How to Handyman series. Just a quick follow up to uh, yesterday's video on grouting um, around a pool. So today we're just going to do the expansion joints and the silicon as well. So great opportunity, fantastic day. So just thought I'd uh, quickly show you how it was done and uh, yeah we'll go from there. So let's go. Okay, so we went through yesterday, or in the previous video, um, how to grout around, uh, grout around the pool, and uh, this is sandstone. So uh, the principles probably apply for other types of stone and ceramics as well, um, but we really need to put expansion joints in, especially um, if you've got a big area of tiles, because yeah, here in Australia, the um, we find in summer that we can get 45, 46 degrees air temperature. So the temperature actually beating down on the, on the tiles here is enough to fry an egg. So you know, you can be 80, 90 degrees plus. So when that happens, there's quite a lot of expansion and contraction of tiles. And if you don't put uh, expansion joints in, then um, it's likely that the tiles as they expand can come together and they can buckle, pop, or crack, um, your tiles can crack as well. So just by having some of these in, it just gives a bit of movement so the tiles have got space to move. And effectively what we do is um, we leave a gap about every five meters or so. Um, and in that gap, then we just put a, uh, a filler. So we put um, uh, what they call a, a rod in there, which is really just a bit of uh, foam, really. Um, put that in and then we put a bead of silicon over the top. As you can see, I've got an expansion joint just between the tiles and the coping. Um, the reason we put the control rods in is um, one, it helps fill the, uh, the hole and yeah, it really does save on the amount of uh, silicon or whatever other product you're using. Um, it saves on the amount of that that is going in. But it also means that when this is in place, it gives, we can control the depth of the, the sealer, the silicon that we're putting in. And uh, when we actually force the silicon in, it forces down onto this rod. So it forces the silicon out and between the two tiles. So instead of just pouring heaps and heaps in until you hit bottom, or sometimes you never do, it'll force the silicon sideways and force it to grab against the side of the tiles. So that's the reason we use control rods. Um, and they're really easy to just put in, you just literally slide them into the, into the joint. So it's a really quick video, so let me show you putting a control rod in and then just doing a little bit of siliconing and that'll be it for this video. Now control rods come in a variety of sizes, this is 6mm which is just going to fit into our, um, into our grout line really easily. So we're literally just going to pop it in and pop it down just below the surface. Just going to push it in so it gets a nice firm fit. Like so. And look, there are places where we don't need it. We're moving towards a spot there that's probably far enough. In there. And then all we do is we come over the top of that with our silicon. And for this job, I'm using a low modulus um, neutral cure silicon because I'm actually working with stone. Uh, if you want to see more about different types of silicons, we actually just done a video on that and you should be seeing up there, so up there somewhere, there should be a link through to that video for you to have a look at. So, yep, okay, let's, let's go. So we just put a nice bead of silicon over the top. Just gently squeezing the, the silicon tube. This is a situation where less is more. We don't want too much silicon going into the joint. And you'll notice um, I've just cut the end to approximately the size of the, the gap that I'm, um, I'm putting in. Once that's in place, we just need to smooth it down. Now you can use the 
finger method and lick if you like or I actually like these things which are a, um, a little plastic or a little rubber uh, squeegee um, the silicon doesn't really stick to them and they seem to work really well and it gives a nice good finish now when you've got excess like that I generally find what we call a chucks works really well so just wipe that off I like to keep it dry but look other people have got other ways of doing it keep everything really clean and just squeegee the rest of the silicon in and anywhere we've got a little bit of overrun we just want to wipe that off which is only a tiny bit Actually, we could do with a little bit more silicon over the top of the control rod. It's a bit too high. That's it. If you're worried about the um, if you're worried about the joint and the mess and you're a little bit not quite sure about what you're doing you can always run a little bit of masking tape down each side of the joint and then run your silicon through as well so that's uh, yeah that's sort of up to you and that's it that's all there is to it so then you just got to run around the the rest of the area and uh, yeah do the entire pool so that's it for this video as always if you like what you see please like uh, the video subscribe to the channel if uh, you want to see uh, uh, more of what we're doing and uh, until next time I'll see you soon.